So far in this series of six tips, we've seen the degrees of freedom that may be constrained by planes, spheres, cylinders, cones, and extruded features when they are a primary datum feature on a regardless of material boundary basis. This month, we see that a complex feature or pattern of features may constrain all six degrees of freedom on the part. Here's a clip from our computer-based training course. And the last category we're going to talk about are the complex features. Now a complex feature could be some very complex curve that could constrain all six degrees of freedom. Or it could be something as simple as this shape which also constrains all six degrees of freedom. So if I have this called out as a primary datum feature, there wouldn't be a secondary or tertiary datum feature because there'd be nothing for them to do. Once again, if we want to look at the datums that are established by this, there's a center plane down through this, there's an axis just like we saw with the linear extrusion, but I also have a point because of the taper in this feature, it's going to restrict moving up and down, and that's what the point is doing. If you want a complete education in the fundamentals of GD&T to the latest standard, contact us to learn how to take our computer-based training, available now online or DVD. And remember, at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next month.